What is up YouTube? Today I have a really cool tutorial for you guys today. It's a Photoshop tutorial. Um, you, if you see this effect on my dream scene, uh, that is called a bokeh? Bokeh? Bokeh. That's how you spell it. But um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Do this kind of effect, but on image form. If you want, leave a comment and I'll make a further tutorial on how to do an After Effects in this video form. But to get on with this, let's um, open up Photoshop and go to File, New. Uh, put it to whatever size you want, uh, whatever dimensions you want. I'm putting it to my uh, wallpaper dimensions. So you should have this. Double click on the padlock, whatever. I'm just going to name it Background. Now go up to Edit. Oh, why is it Edit? Oh yeah, forgot. All right, select the background. And go to fill. Content to use black. Mode normal, opacity 100. And click OK. Should go all black. Um, now make a new layer. As you see right here, it's right next to the trash can tool thingy on the bottom. Now it creates a new layer. Now what you want to do is you want to go right here to the brush tool. Now with the brush tool, you want to click on the 19. It actually tells you it doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, let's make this um, 400. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to go to Window, and click on Brushes. To do that, uh, enable Shape Dynamics, Scattering, and Other Dynamics. If you have CS5, it should Other Dynamics should be called uh, Transfers or something. Now in Shape Dynamics, Size Jitter 100. Scattering, add a thousand, count one. Other dynamics, opacity jitter, 100, flow jitter, another hundred. Um, and if it doesn't come out something like this, mess with the spacing. Uh, I leave mine to a good 25, so. Looks really beast. Okay, so once you do that, you could just, well. You can just close that, and what you want to do is you want to hold the left click and go on a forward swipe. Make sure the color uh, is at a white, the foreground color. So make it to how much you want it. I want to do like two to three swipes. Okay, so just add a little. Wow, that was a loud ass car. Uh, just add little stings here and there. Okay, you got that down. You want to click on layer one, and click on the background, and merge them. Now what you want to do, is you want to go to... Oh wait, no, no, don't merge them, don't merge them. <laughs> layer one, go to filter, blur, and go to Gaussian blur. What's your Gaussian blur? Make it, uh, however you want. Um, Make sure it's all blurry, so I'll make it to a 35, 25, 35. I'll make it to a 35. And then just merge the layers together. Now, what you want to do now is create another layer, go back to the brush, lower it down back to, I don't know, let's make it 116. Now swipe. Oh, don't swipe. Go around the parts. Whoops. There you go. Alright, go around the parts that are black. So, back right there, right there, right there, all down here, right there. And just add a little spots if needed here and there. Okay, you see the little spots everywhere now? Well, let's just take that one out. Uh, just mess with this a bit. Until you get the right one. Okay, now what you do is you go to filter, blur, go to Gaussian blur again, but make this one less. Let's make it a 25. No, let's make that a 15. Because you still want to see it a bit. And what you want to do is you want to merge those two together. Now, let's make this a bit larger. Now let's make it a, let's make it a 78. I'll just start going crazy, just swipe around it, uh, make it as 
unique and colorful and creative as you want because that's the main important part being creative okay let's head up it's right there Down there one there so yeah now that I got that you want to create a new layer now go over to your paint bucket tool and hold it and make get into a gradient tool now click on this rectangle right here now this is what you really need to make, pay attention to. You want to make you want to click right here and right here. This is where you have to get a bit creative. You want to make it so it'll be kind of fruity. So I'll make this one let's say a globe. Okay. I'll just see. I got it from a blue, a purple, blue red yellow okay let's make this one purple this one can be blue red yellow red not too light though not too dark at the same time red and then a yellowish orange Make it a bit brighter. Now we got that. Let's just move the blue up a bit. Okay. So we got that. Now what you want to do is you want to go from left to right. So click down, hold shift, move to the left, to the right. From the left to the right, I'm sorry. Now what you want to do is you want to go to where it says normal. Click on overlay. Now you got this really beasting effect. Now see how I didn't try so hard because, you know. I was just messing around with it. I could have made simply this an orange. Watch. Like I'm about to make this orange. Okay, so need a bit more of this. Let's make that orange so it'll be a bit flowish. Click OK. Hold shift, move from left to right. Normal, make it overlay, and voila! I got it kind of all flowing together. Now you could just be as creative as you can and fool around with it. And uh, that's how you basically do it. That's the easiest way in uh, the process of making a Vulcan, Vulca effect. So, yeah, uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.